everybody, welcome to another Let's Watch Slash Talk video where we check out the news trailer for Movie Gamer Show. And today I'm very excited to bring in and check out the newest trailer, trailer number two everybody, trailer number two for Fast X. I'm a big fan of the Fast series. If you guys have not seen my first coverage of the first trailer, I'll link it down in the description and or in the comment section, I'll pin it down below. But yeah, let's watch it, I'm very excited to check it out, let's go. Oh my god. You know, we'd already okay, look at that car. Roman wasn't driving Ford Knox on wheels. You see me shining, baby? <laughs> yeah, you super shining. What the hell? We're locked inside. That's a trap. That's a bomb. All right, dorks, what are we blowing up? What? The Vatican? Wow. But you guys are going to hell. Freaking Aquaman. <laughs> oh my god. Get out of there. Damn. Great Dom Toretto. If you never would have gotten behind that wheel, I'd never be the man I am today. And now, I am the man who's going to break your family. Piece by piece. The devil's coming. Boom! Dommy, I knew you would come for me. So how about we all just start shooting each other? Time to end this. Let's dig some graves. Ah, it's Han. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh yes, Han's game is time again. Let's go, baby. You're and for the Jason's data. Trusted. Hey, you ain't on my Christmas list either. Calvary's here. Cheers. We need weapons. And cars. Cannon cars. Do you like surprises? <laughs> I adore them. I'd stay down if I was you. You'll need to hit me harder for that. The game's over, Dom. You lose. This is your last ride. Then you might want to buckle up. Damn! Oh my god. <laughs> it's always Dom. It's always Dom that has these moments. Holy shit. <laughs> Well, okay, everybody, that is it for the trailer. That is the new trailer, trailer number two for Fast X. And I gotta say, I'm excited for this movie. And I, uh, May 19th, May 19th, or technically May 20th, that's a full release, right, of the movie. And I'm just excited to see Han. Okay, he's back in action. We didn't see him much. He was, spoiler alert, if you guys have not seen it, if you guys are watching this, right, uh, in Fast 9, he came back. Welcome back, Han. Excited. He, he uh, I think he was sporting uh, short hair because he was incognito and all that stuff, right? In hiding as well. Now he's got the classic Han look, which I'm excited for. I, I mean, I think he had long hair, kind of, but not not this, not the same one we're, we're seeing him in this one. Not the same style here. But here we got him, and I believe we got one of the Shaw brothers, obviously played by Jason Statham. And uh, I hope we get to see the other brother too. Even though we did see him, I think it was in Fast Eight. We saw the last, the other brother, right? Because he was hurt before previously in the other movies, and then he was fine. Fast forward to later. Hopefully, we get to see him. But I mean, just, I mean, there's a lot of stars here. Okay, John Cena is gonna be. We're gonna talk about John Cena in a second too. But Jason Statham and Han working together. Mr. Shaw and Han working together. Crazy stuff. We saw that also in the end credits or after credits scene of Fast 9 as well. But overall, uh, my take on the trailer, I gotta say this looks hype. It's exciting. I'm a big fan of the Fast movies. I've seen all the Fast movies. I love all of them. My favorite being, I've, I gotta go with the third one, Tokyo Drift. I love the third one. Uh, and also, oh, hopefully we get to see more of Sean. And I know in the trailer we're not going to see that, right? The interactions between Hit, Sean and Han. But, uh, I mean, after what happened with Tokyo Drift and that little bit of scene that we saw in the last movie in Fast 9, interaction between him, Sean, and Han, uh, hopefully we get to see more of that in 
in this movie, at least in the beginning of the movie, that would make sense. Hopefully, we get to see more interactions and or maybe a goodbye from Sean. That would kind of suck. But as long as we get to see them again for a little bit in this movie, that'd be great. But here, lastly, I forgot to mention, <laughs> is Deckard Shaw. And he's showing up his, I guess, his base of operations, right? With all the weapons and tools and whatever he has in cars, right, he uses. And we get a nice little throwback here of this car. As you see on the bottom right is the stuff that him and his brother used when they were causing destruction and or taking down, trying to take down the Toretto gang or the, the Toretto group, right, the family. And uh, again, this is something that I personally was hoping to see them use before. Uh, and they're finally, hopefully, get, we get to see them use it against the villain of this movie. So, Calvary's here. Cheers. Okay, so here we got Brie Larson. Okay, she's back, and it's funny. Okay, it's funny because we just covered the teaser trailer for Captain Marvel, and she plays Captain Marvel. Brie Larson is here in Fast X, helping out Toretto's group. And I don't think she's against them. She's actually helping Toretto's group and or Dom, right? And some people were kind of speculating, thinking that she was going to be playing Brian's sister, maybe long lost sister or some relative, right? Uh, but no, she's actually playing the daughter of Mr. Nobody, who was played by Mr. Kurt Russell himself uh, back in the previous movies. And now Mr. Nobody's not here, but Brie Larson is here, the daughter, right, of the said character, and she's going to be helping him out and taking down Mr. Aquaman. <laughs> I call him Aquaman, but Aquaman's on a tear, definitely. Aquaman, uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Jason Momoa, he's on a tear in this movie and destroying a lot, a lot of structures and or buildings and places. I mean, he's he is, I think, one of the most craziest villains we've seen in said Fast and Furious fr in the whole Fast and Furious franchise because he really wants revenge after what happened from his dad I guess his dad died that was his, I think that was his family or his dad had died in I believe it was Fast 5 I believe the whole thing was in Fast 5 so yeah the whole thing in Fast 5 crazy crazy stuff and I guess it's all connect. Oh, well, they're connecting, right? They're connecting everything with that movie and or the son played by Jason Momoa. And he's going to get his revenge, trying to get his revenge. And I'm very curious how it's going to end. It's definitely going to lead to something at the end. Maybe Jason Momoa lives. Maybe he dies. Usually the villain does. I would say usually the villain <laughs> dies. But, I mean, look at the Shaw brothers, right? So that's not totally, totally uh, for sure that will happen in the movie. You lose. We need weapons and cars. Cannon cars. All right, all right. Okay, let's talk about John Cena, okay? Because now John Cena is <laughs> a good guy, right? He's now he's he's now face. <laughs> he's now face. Everybody. He's, he wasn't. He's not a heel anymore. Uh, Dom's brother is back. Yes, and uh, he's with his son. He's with Dom's son, right? And he's going to be helping out everybody. I mean, the whole team. He's part of the team now. The family just keeps getting bigger and bigger. It's insane how they just how they stretched uh, the family, or just how they brought in the family. I guess you could say too, uh, from the last couple of movies. Like I think it was what uh, number eight and number nine. Like those two movies brought in so many new characters and family. Like with the brother, the mother, and this one we got the mother. Uh, and then just a bunch of other characters. I mean, Han is back too, you know, so just a lot of going on. A lot going on. We got a son now. He's got a son now. It's a whole thing. But it's going to be cool seeing John Cena here. I uh, Sadly, I don't think he's going to get a lot of screen time. But in the last trailer, in the first one that we got to see, he did do the AA on a bunch of security guards and whatnot. So I'm, gonna, I'm most likely sure that we'll see that for maybe a couple, a couple minutes, you know, maybe like four or five minutes maybe. Uh, and then later we're gonna see him back again helping out the team helping out uh, the son of Dom uh, His brother's son, right? And uh, just taking it and it looks like he's having a good time He looks like John's having a good time here. It doesn't look super serious like he was last movie and it's gonna be great It's gonna be awesome seeing all these crazy action part or action explosions as Michael Bay would would put it You know with all these explosions. They're really trying to get there with Michael Bay and trying to get at that level but um Dom always has the big moments, as we're going to see next up. Yeah. 
be just insane. Like, I can just imagine when they're writing the movie, they're like, all right, Dom, you're going to get this huge scene while everybody else gets, like, the minor scenes and or, you know, showing them with certain scenes. But Dom always gets the always gets the, <laughs> the big scenes. He's the main star, but he's the champion. He is Le Champion. And, uh, yeah, he's going to get this huge scene right here, obviously going down the dam. I mean, this reminds me of the parts in Skate 2, where it's like this big dam and a Skate 3, where I'm just like skating literally from up there all the way to the bottom. And Mr. Dom Toretto, he's going to be doing it, but with a bunch of explosions, uh, again, would, that would make Michael Bay happy. Uh, but yeah, that's it for the video, guys. That is my last that is my last bit right here. There's a lot to cover here in the trailer, but we already covered mostly uh, stuff from the first one and stuff from the second one. There's a lot to cover here. But I just want to talk to, I guess, pinpoint certain parts of the trailer. Uh, and I'm very looking forward to different characters coming back and or some characters maybe coming back. Because they did say that this will be the last moment or last movie that they mention Brian, aka Paul Walker's character, and this this is I guess this will this will be like the last time ever they'll mention it and they'll say bye officially to the character. There is going to be another one. There is going to be an eleventh movie, uh, and there's going to be a cliffhanger. Like I said, I'm curious to see how they're going to do that. Uh, how are you going to say bye to Brian's character? How are we going to see other characters? Are we going to lose any characters? That is actually very sad if we do, and or maybe like I said, maybe there can be a comeback. I mean. Uh, Han's girlfriend, who was played by Gal Gadot, uh, it, back in I believe it was the sixth movie. I believe it was the sixth movie. Uh, they they lost her there. I believe it was the sixth one or was it the fifth one? I forget which one it was, but we lost her there. And some people are saying that she might come back. So who knows? Who knows? Take the, all the cards on the table we can't read or know. We'll have to wait and see until the movie releases. May twentieth. Everybody, mark your calendars. Get ready for this movie. I'm. It's gonna be another jam-packed movie. It's gonna make a lot of money. I know there's a lot of people that are tired of this franchise, and hey, I know you're tired of the tra franchise, but it makes money. It literally makes money, and why why not continue? But hey, to those people that are tired of the franchise, I can only say one thing: it's about to end, guys. It's literally about to end next year or whenever they release the eleventh movie, which is the last one, and it's it sucks. It's it's been a big part of my life and a lot of people a lot of people's lives. Uh, I remember back when I was a kid, I remember seeing the very first one, and now I'm seeing the second to last one in theaters, and we're going to see the last one whenever that comes out next year or in two years, and that is bye, that is it, that is bye to the family that Dom has made, or just, you know, the whole company Universal has made with all these movies and all these characters, we're going to say bye to them, it's going to be very, very sad, a lot of people are going to be sad, and I just hope it ends really, really nice between all of them between every single character every single i guess actor also when making the movie and all that stuff we'll see we'll see how the story ends in the future but for right now this is fast x trailer number two i just wanted to cover it and check it out and talk about it for a little while and it's been fun it's been fun guys and i'm very excited for the movie if you guys are going to go see it let me know or you want to talk about it in the comments that'd be great but if you guys also did enjoy the video press the like button i like it's always appreciated thank you guys for watching thank you guys for the support take care guys stay amazing and i'll see y'all with the next video